Great pattern. I love the jumper. I'm ready. Hello and a very welcome to our second Curious Mind Science Show. Yay! <laughs> this is brilliant. So much fun. Hi. Shopping the holy of that we're here for a science week. What an amazing week it's been so far. It's been fantastic. And everybody who's been here has been sciencing. All around the country, mm -hmm. people have been sciencing. And it has been thoroughly impressive and fun. Yes, and I can't wait for all the sciencing we're going to do today. And my name is Mary Claire. And I am Philip Michael Brian Anthony Smith. <laughs> I guess it's Misha Grawn, you please, Dale. And we'll see Michael, who'll be signing throughout the show. Hi, Hi Michael. Michael. <laughs> August people are in Yota Scullery in Ainsling. So we have Don Boyne Senior Primary School and St. Kieran's National School. Happy Science Week, guys! Your moment, yes! Yay! Yay! Very good. And we are delighted to be in the Microsoft Dream Space. It's quite dreamy and colourful and beauteous, and it will let your curiosity flow. It is such an incredible space. And speaking of incredible, to show the Hretta Agin Ravenya. That's right, and we'll be chatting to you all throughout the show in the chat, so keep your shout-outs coming in. We'll be talking to you during the show and after the show, and you never know, we might hit every county in Ireland. Who knows? Maybe even... Uh... Leash, 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 leash! Not that it matters, it's totally fine. She has a, she's fond of leash. <laughs> and actually, we actually have some that came through earlier on today. We're going to do a couple of shout-outs now. We've got Miss Morris's third class in Rush National School. How are you out there? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. August Mudgar, hello, more are all at fourth class in Skull Trass in Leifa, Dublin 8. How are you all? Big hello to St. Corbin's fifth class in Nace in County Kildare. And we have St. Michael's College Junior School as well. A big hello to you and nice to see you having a bit of fun. August fourth class in Skull Nagalini, Castle Blaney. That's so long to manage to salt us in show. <laughs> And for now, our final school is School Murray Monroe in County Limerick. But keep your shout outs coming in because we'll be shouting out and shouting throughout the show about science and everything else. Ah, our deuce, before we do anything else, we have a small little video to show you all of the amazing science stuff we've been doing this week. Have a look at this. bit um different what do you think you like my hair your hair is fantabulous wow well we're so happy that you guys are here today because we're going to need all the help to help announce exactly what's happening in the show so can you tell us what's coming up coming up next in the show is an interview with dr matt nickel about stars and how they explode how magnets work and more wow i am very impressed we just in harkey in the look i think phil and mc might be out of a job soon <laughs> over to you mc no pressure <laughs> and uh, we're delighted to be joined by none other than philip nolan the director general of science foundation ireland how are you getting on philip great great to be here oh yeah that's a very impressive title i feel a little bit nervous chatting to you <laughs> <laughs> i'm very big on my title <laughs> well happy science week and Thank i mean you. what is science week all about science week is about getting out of our laboratories and out of our archives and getting into the communities and really showing all of you just how exciting and really, really interesting science is and hopefully inspiring some of you to become scientists in the future. That's right. And we've many students here in the audience today and mm. teachers as well. Uh, if they wanted to get engaged in, in STEM projects, how, how would they go about it? The important thing, I think, is just to follow your curiosity. Each and every one of us has something we're interested in. The way science works is we simply try to figure out how things work. And so whatever's on your mind and you're curious, how does that work? My, my urge is follow your curiosity, talk to your teachers about it, and get started in your journey of science as soon as you, f you find the interest. And I think we've some of that curiosity here today because we've got some questions mm. in the audience. We've one from Elizabeth over here. Do you want to stand up and ask Philip your question? What would you say to people who want to be a scientist when they grow up? Just follow that curiosity. What is it interests you? Why do you want to be a scientist? 
And then as soon as you think about it, talk to your teachers and get started. Fant fantastic, thank, thank you very much. Do you want to just take a seat over here? And uh, we have another question over here from, from Laura. Do we have a microphone for Laura? Uh, do you want to pass it down to her yet? Yeah. Thanks very much. What is your favorite thing about Science Week? Oh, it's getting out and meeting people like yourselves and seeing individual people starting on their own journey of science, getting out into schools, seeing the projects that people have done, and knowing that some of those are going to turn out to be the really talented scientists of the future. Well, there you have it. Well, Philip, thank you so much. And oh, if you it. at home want to get involved uh, with Curious Minds Awards, you can check out all the resources on curiousminds.ie. Um, but for now, my notes say that Philip and Gronia are going for a cycle. Is that, is that true? Is that correct? Yeah, it, it kind of is what we're doing. Uh, Science Week is all about having a bit of crack. Uh, this is having a bit of track. Hey, I know. that's funny. I, laugh, laugh, laugh. No, no, no <laughs> if, if they don't laugh yeah. naturally, uh, I need to work on my jokes, funny really? enough. Really? Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Thank you. I have full of confidence now. This is fun. We have our helpers warming up here as well and getting ready. This is a track that we're going to talk a little bit about the transfer of energy and energy, how it's moved from one place to another. Ah, I gotcha. Okay, but how does it work with the bicycles and the track? Uh, how does it work? Okay, so we got this okay. from Mechatrods. Uh, what they do is this is energy can either be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. Mm -hmm. So you have like sound energy, like la. Yes. Oh, wow, beautiful. Thank you, I've been Ooh, working on that all in. day. Uh, there's heat energy, there's light energy, there's nuclear, nuclear energy, there's chemical. So even the oh, food that you eat gives you energy as well. So okay. what we're doing with here is that the food that you have all eaten today is inside, you, you're gonna have food inside. It's gonna transfer into kinetic energy, movement energy that's ah. gonna be through it. And it's going to be transferred into electrical energy, which will then power these cars later on around Around the track so we can see who is the winner. We're not going to do it now, we're going to hold on for a few minutes until the excitement happens in a bit. Okay, well I can't wait to see it. It's going to be great. Good, because I do need two uh, uh, helpers oh, to oh. help. So yes, helpers, Mr. Mr. helper one. I also need a helper two and Philip Nolan is here and because it's Science Week, he can't actually say no. So, <laughs> Philip, no, don't you walk. No, no, Philip. Uh, yeah, actually, no, I need you for run, something. Phil, yeah, I'm going to go. It's going to be great. All right. <laughs> okay, well while Phil is looking for Phil, um, I'm going to be doing my warm-ups because I have to get ready for this race. Ah, it's your darling. Thank you for shouting. Shout out, I'm freshen. Come with hello, all at Rangado. A girl skull on Tylene Leaf at Egerka. Kaka will to her fog. And a big hello, freshen to fifth class in Douglas Rochestown. Educate together. That's two schools from Cork. Up the rebels. Right. Okay. I'm going to keep on warming up. But in the meantime, I'm going to be heading over to MC and Corey, and uh, they're going to be talking about the Sphero Indie. So have a look at this short video first to see what they're talking about. Really excited after seeing that video, Corey. And thank you so much for having us over here in the cool corner. No, All right. thanks for popping along. And come here, MC, the last time I spoke to you, you had just learned how to play Minecraft. So how is it going? That's right, for Ireland's future is mine. Great show. And uh, yeah, I'm getting there. Let's just say I'm not a chip off the old block, Corey, unfortunately. Well, come here, keep practicing. And you'll be an expert like me because <laughs> I know what an ender, ender, Ender world is, well, so maybe I'm not a pro just yet. Um, but enough about that. As Grania said, we are here in Microsoft Dream Space, which is our STEM education hub. Now, Dream Space is on a mission to teach every student in Ireland all about science, technology, engineering, and maths. So, we are going to put our STEM skills to the test because we have Sphero Indy here, which we just seen in that video, which, by the way, what a bop. We were all dancing, weren't we, Lexi? You were doing your moves. Ooh, look yeah. at that. See, I mean, whoo, dance party <laughs> over here. <laughs> but we know from the video that Sphero Indie drives by colour. And we have these colours in front of us. Now, MC, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test you out here and okay. see. Okay. I know you just recently got your driver's licence. Yep, very, I, very recently. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> at least you have it, because I don't have mine. But look, we'll start with the traffic lights. Green means 
Go. Yeah, go. that'd be go. <laughs> Red. That would be stop. That means stop. Now, we don't know what purple means because this is a new colour for us in Indy, right? But I'll give you a clue. Uh, there's a fly in my hair and I need to shake it out. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, is my celebration skills that bad? I'm, ce I'm also celebrating that the fly is now flown off. Exactly. <laughs> Purple means celebrate. It means, woohoo, we got there, we won. Okay, so our problem is, are you ready for this? Sphero Windy is going to start here. Okay. But it needs to get here. Uh-huh. But we don't know what colours in the middle is going to help us. So we know green means go, purple means celebrate, pink means we left. Oh, I was going to oh. say we wear it on Wednesdays, but oh, uh, always. 100% <laughs> love that. So if pink means left, blue means right. Right. I got it right. <laughs> okay, are we ready to test this out and see if it works? Because that's what's so important with science, isn't it? We always have to test, test, test. Okay, so Here. has he got the end plates on? Has the end plates on? All right. Looking cool, ready to go. Right. Wish us luck. Rear view mirror going. <laughs> All right, Indy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Okay. So we went wrong somewhere, but that's okay because we can figure it out. So what do you think happened there, MC? I think we mixed up our left and our right commands. So we need to do a little switcheroo. A little switcheroo. And you know what? I should have done this because I learned that in primary school that that's left. So I mean, I think that would have helped you a lot. Okay. I think we have it this time. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Go okay, in, now, we go. Gets to the end, I all want us to celebrate. So here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm very excited. All right. Come on, Indy. <gasps> See why the celebration exactly. for purple works. That's fantastic. And look, if you um, want to download a worksheet in the description here in the chat, you can uh, look at loads of fun stuff like Sphero Indy and stuff you can try at home. Isn't that right, Corey? Exactly. And we have lots more STEM resources on our website, dreamspace.ie. Yeah, very good. Let me just check my notes. I wonder what's coming up here. Um, it doesn't say, but uh, maybe Mini MC and Mini Phil would know. How do you get it to be so beautiful and luscious? It's just really, really impressive. Thank you. You're welcome. It's good, isn't it? What about mine? Also fantastic, but like we have it. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, I don't know. I was too busy focusing on hair. Uh, what's coming up next? Now it's time for our interview with Dr. Matt Nicole, who is calling from Queen's University, Belfast. It's good having some professionals around with you. But there you have it. Over to you, Grania. Extremely professional. Well done, Mini Phil. So now we're joined by Dr. Matt Nichol. Come with Hossa Gulsu and Nainzi Ling. We're so happy that you're joining us today. Happy Science Week! Happy Science Week. Lovely to see you. You too. So come here, tell us a little bit about your job. It sounds fascinating. So I am an astrophysicist, and that means I study different objects in space to try to learn more about how the universe works. So in particular, I study exploding stars and black holes. Wow, so do these stars explode near us on planet Earth, or are we okay? <laughs> uh, fortunately, these explosions happen very far away. Phew. Most of them happen in distant galaxies. Only about once every hundred years do we get a supernova in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. When this happens, it leaves behind a beautiful nebula like you can see in these pictures here. And at the time of these explosions, these would have been so bright that you could just go outside and look up and see them with the naked eye. But they're still too far away to do us any harm. So I'm actually hoping for another nearby supernova soon so we can all go outside and take a look. Wow, they are so beautiful and colourful. And what can we learn from these cosmic explosions? We can learn all kinds of things from cosmic explosions. So one of the most important things is we're trying to figure out where everything comes from. And we think that all of the oxygen and the iron and the gold and all these other important elements here on Earth were actually created by giant explosions in space. And because these explosions are so bright, we can also see them from really far away. So the light that we see now actually left the explosions a very long time ago and has traveled a very long way to reach us. So when we look at these explosions, we're really looking back in time to see how the universe used to be in the past. Wow, that's amazing. But how can we see them from here? How do we do it? To see these very distant stars, we have to use giant telescopes. So these telescopes tend to be in places that are very dark, very dry, and very high up to get those nice clear skies. So this is a picture I took in my last trip to the telescopes in the Atacama Desert in Chile in South America. Now I love going observing and looking up and seeing the sky, but these days lots of telescopes are also robotic, so you can get fantastic pictures of the sky without even leaving Ireland. 
I have a gazillion more questions, Matt, but I think I'd need to pass it over to some of our students here in the audience. So first of all, we're going to go over to Amy. Amy, you have a question. Do you have a favourite part of your job? I do indeed. My favourite part of my job is discovering new things. So every day here we play a game of spot the difference with the universe. And we do this by taking new images through our telescopes and comparing these to previous images of the same part of the sky. So here are some examples of our recent discoveries. So in each of these pictures, these beautiful spiral shapes are galaxies made up of billions of stars. But in each of these galaxies, one of these stars has exploded. And you can see it appears as a brand new source on top of that galaxy. And this one star that exploded is brighter than all the other stars in that galaxy. So by playing this game every day, we discover new supernovae in Belfast every single day. That was a brilliant question, Amy, and a brilliant answer as well, Matt. And we have one more question as well from Michael. Michael, what's your question? Um, did you always like space? That's another great question. Yes, when I was growing up, I always loved space. And I would try to read books about space and find out more about it. And I always enjoyed science at school as well. But it was only when I got a bit older that I realized you could actually do this as a job. So now I feel really lucky that I get to do science every single day. And I think it just shows you should always follow your interests and see where they lead you. That is a brilliant answer. It's great that you're doing a job that you love. And it's amazing. You learn something new every single day. Thank you so much for being with us, Matt. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Anish uh, Fadala Corey, and she has a very important question for some students. Saying just there that we were working with Indy. Now, Indy is a self-driving car. Now, in real life, self-driving cars, get this, they don't need anyone to drive them. Isn't that mad? So I was like, then how do they drive? So I had to do some investigating. And I found out that self-driving cars, basically, they have like these sensors in them, they have cameras in them, and they work as their brain and their eyes. And that helps them see things like traffic lights, roads, pedestrians, most importantly. But it has something really powerful in it, a really powerful technology, right? I'll give you a clue. It starts with A. So who thinks they know? No, hands up. OK, Emma, what do you think it is? AI. AI, well done, or artificial intelligence. Now, in a nutshell, artificial intelligence is basically when we, as humans, can train machines to think like humans. So they're really clever and they're really smart and they can learn from their own mistakes. And we use AI every single day. Now, we might not be driving around in self-driving cars, I wish, because as we know, I don't have a license. But we do use it every day. So does anybody have an example of when we use AI? Hands up. Ah, Michael, go on. When do you think we use it? Uh, you could use it to program a game. <gasps> Love that. Yes, you could use it to program a game. That's very advanced game, wouldn't it? And a lot of times you play against computers with NPCs and stuff, so well done. Did you have one, Emma? Uh, you could use it for Alexa. Yeah, so all of our voice assistants, so Siri, Alexa, Cortana, that's an excellent one. And we might do one more. You could use it for Face ID. <gasps> that's a brilliant one, exactly. You could use it for Face ID. So that's just an example of basically how we're using AI in our everyday lives. And it's all around us, so it's so important that we know when we use it and how it works. So they were great answers, everyone. Well done. But now I think Phil has something magnetic to show us. Uh, magnet I mean, apart from my magnetic personality, haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're all supposed to cheer for that, yeah, right? <laughs> One laugh. I am needing to work harder. I need to work better on my material. Yeah. Uh, like your... Science material? Yeah, exactly. Well, to you about some actual magnetism then this time. So you've heard of magnets before, everybody here, MC? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, magnets have a North Pole and a? South Pole. The Earth has a North Pole and a? South Pole. Brilliant, okay, because the Earth is a big magnet and there is a field around it and there's a field around these type oh, of things. Oh, I know all about fields. You do, actually in leash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big I, leash. I'm bag. outstanding in my field. <laughs> Oh, well. Sorry, back to the sides. Uh, great. So if you put north and north together, what happens? They get pushed away. If you put south and south together, they get pushed away. But if you put them opposite, they attract, because the fields are interacting with one another. But what we've given out everybody here in that field, you have a set of iron filings. Some of the people in the front rows here have them here. See it on camera there too. Uh, if you put a magnet under... Just, or you could just shake it. I thought we were about to do a little dance. We'll just have a little moment where yeah. we just kind of get a little bit of music going. Yeah. No? A little bit of it. That's yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Of... Like science. 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 No? Okay, great. 
great. Uh, <laughs> we have it there. If you put the magnet underneath it and then shake it, what you'll see is that the, the iron filings line up along the magnetic oh. field line, so you can see them. And what we're going to do is talk a little bit about how one of those field lines interacts with an electrical line. So you have the right hand rule, which you put your, if you put your hands like that, you're going to put it pointed like that and put it out like that. If you've got a current going in that direction, a magnetic field going in that direction, you get a push in this direction. It's called the Lorentz force. Yeah. So if you're able to understand that, and this is the kind of thing that if you understand on a small level, you can understand on a big level. So I have a magnet, yep. I have a battery, they're yep. connected, and if I connect them together and form a circuit, <gasps> oh, wow. they will spin around. So this is the push that you get, the lens force is pushing. So there we go, keep going around. It might even work with this one. It did nearly worked earlier on. Here we go, go around. There we go, kind of working. So you can kind of see how it spins around, it keeps spinning around, it's spinning around, it's spinning around. This is the basis of how all motors work. Wow. And I am, th that's with the bikes, the transfer of energy wow. and all that kind of stuff. And here's another explanation for all of you kids. Imagine the magnet is your favorite TikToker and the iron filings are all their followers and they like and follow everything they do. So there you go. And the push is the promotion that yeah. they get to get in and around. Call no? me a social scientist, eh? Yes, sure. <laughs> that's great. Yes, excellent. You're um, welcome. Oh, Phil, it says here that I one and uh, seamless smooth transition while Phil is getting himself ready there I'm going to say hello to you all at home big shout out to Clonmelon National School in County Westmeath uh, second third and fourth class in Annabella National School in County Kerry Rangashi in Tara Hill National School in Gorey and Corbala National School in uh, Ennis Grown. big hello to you keep those shout outs coming in and uh, Phil are, are you ready there Oh, but for science, I'm always ready. Oh, uh, isn't it good? Is it quite, it's quite soothing. It's quite like a lava lamp. With yes. the, the, the. Mm. It's also, maybe not the, like it's exciting and interesting, but it can lead to something else. You always lead off into something else. That's okay. where curiosity leads We're intrigued. us. We're intrigued. So we had magnets more. and stuff. This is a little motor. You might have seen one of these at some stage before. <laughs> What's interesting is, just to prove it, I have a magnet. If you put this up to it, you see that the motor sticks to it. Yep stuff inside it. Okay. So this is proving that this kind of thing is exactly the same science that works within that, just in a slightly more snazzy way. Gotcha. So what I have done is I have taken some of MC's toothbrushes. Um, <laughs> a little bit now. Now, look, they're clean either because MC's teeth are really clean or because she never brushes her teeth. Mm. One of the two. Yes. Thank you very much. Is that oh. for me? Okay, I need the mic oh. for myself. Oh, look, oh, here like we go. Okay, I'll hold it here like this. Here, hang on. I'll hold it for you. You hold That'll it for me. Easier. Thank you very much. You so what hands. we're going to do is we're going to connect this. So we have a power supply and we have a battery and we have it running around. So if we connect the circuit, you know, in a racetrack and a circuit, we have it goes round yeah. and round and round. Electrical supply goes round and round. So you can take one of those yourselves and try yourself. Here you go. Actually, I'll give you this one. You hold. Take you take that one and I'll give you this one. So if you connect it and run around, what should happen is the motor should start running. So see the way you have the, yeah, the black the wire connected to the very top of that, and it should start it spinning around if the wires are connected. And oh, it will, look at it It'll go. run around. So try connecting yours up. You, you could try that one there. So connect your little wires up through the little hole if you there, see it there? So put that wire in we there. It. We get it up. Yeah. Oh, I need to call the mic. I need oh, I think to you're the mic. Good we're good. We're good. good so hold it and let it go and see if it starts running around. Let yes. Go! Try yours. Yay! Help over there. Can see one of the wire so connect up the wire. See into the little one on Whoa, that it's side. Fall off. <laughs> oh, oh, we got it. Now this is going to be oh, chaos. It's upside down. There we go. It's running. Okay, there we're actually. Have you you know, I have another one that I made that might help this. It won't stick in. Let's see. Well, if I can you know, with science, if you understand what happens on a small scale, you can understand what happens on a bigger scale. So I mean, I don't want to be unfair and I have a battle, but we'll see. Okay, so we want to have a war and see which one knocks each other over? Oh God, yeah? the two Yeah, pushes. look, go, go. No, that's all right. Oh, that's okay. Those stay, stay, stay. Oh, away, those are right. Yeah, no, okay, I think we're good. Okay, no, no, go, okay, I'm this is a little bit too much. I'm Brandy. getting a bit help. dizzy here. No, Brandy, help, okay. help me. I don't know where the power is. I don't, please. Okay, I think we need to move on, but I think Mini MC and Mini Phil are going to remind me what's happening next because I haven't a clue. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> And of course, uh, we have to come to our announcers, Mini MC and Mini Phil, for science related questions. But before we get to that very important hard cutting question, Mini MC, how do you get your hair looking so flawless? Lots and lots of work. Lots and lots of work. Well, that's, uh, that's where I'm going wrong, <laughs> clearly. But uh, you guys have a, a little announcement for us. It's time for a competition. Ooh. Who will be the fastest person on the bikes? Let's find out. Oh, and uh, I'm supposed to be on one of these bikes, so I better get going. Wish me luck and thank you so much. All right. Good luck. Are we ready for a little bit of experimenting? 
We're getting yes, some we are. stretches we're getting in warm ups in. All the stretches on the way over. My back is cracking. Oh. My back is cracking. Yeah. Back oh, back oh, back oh, here. Uh, we have an adjudicator here with us as well. Uh -huh. uh, you have been warming these bikes up for us. We are okay. going to have a competition. So would you mind if we took over these bikes for a moment, please? Yeah. You would mind. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, well, uh, okay. That's not what we rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you very much. much. Thank okay, you so much. Trusty. Already, we're getting on here. Trusty. Oh, this is oh, like, yeah. oh, it's warm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's all warm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, what we are going to do is we are going to apply all of the bits that we learned earlier on. Yep. We're going to take the transfer of energy. When we pedal, yeah. this is going to transfer the energy from our kinetic energy into this, and it's going to start doing laps. We have green bike, we have a red bike, a blue and a yellow, and there are those corresponding colors. And a tractor, don't forget. And a tractor for leash. Okay. Very important. So we're going to have a race. Who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be? Is it going to be MC? That's no. it. Oh. That's is it going to be Grania? <laughs> hey, is it going to be me? <laughs> no. Is it going to be Corey? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my move. Oh. What can I say? We're going to press the button to get ready things started. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, so Philip, okay. will you give you us ready? a countdown? We're ready to start. Ready? Oh, yeah. Five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one, go! Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, no. oh, come on! Oh, 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 Everyone's oh, giving a cheese. No, oh, hold on. Come on, I'm like, everybody's rooting for you. Come on! Come on! No, come on, come on, come on. This connection somewhere. What's happened? Okay, let me do it again. Ah, yay. I'm on the red team now, I think. Oh, no. What? Wait a minute. Mine stopped. Mine stopped. No, 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 no. Okay, right, okay. A little bit of cheating, I think, overall. Sometimes it didn't work. MC, do you think MC won with her putting it right there at the very start at the end? Oh. No. Oh. I mean, that was science a is no. like trial and error. Okay. Right? How do you think Ron you did? She did okay? Pretty yeah. good. Pretty yeah. good. How do you think I did? You'd... Meh. Not okay. <laughs> that was a resounding bad review. How do we think Corey did? <laughs> amazing. There's <laughs> like two people going, amazing. You know what, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you won. I, well, I know one thing for certain. It definitely wasn't no me way. anyway. <laughs> yeah, but like, who do we think won overall, though, really? Uh, I think we know who the real winner is. Okay. Go yeah. on. Science. 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 Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Science is the real winner. Right. I'd rather prefer it with me, to Fair. be quite honest. That's, I think that's where we're going. <laughs> It's been brilliant Fair for this enough. whole week. We've had experiments. We had the other show the other day. We have talks with artists, with astrophysicists. We've had a whole bunch of messy experiments. We've had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And thank you for our Formula One winner, Corey, for having us here ah. in Dream Space. It's been, I don't know what, a dream. a dream. Would you say it's a dream? <laughs> our pleasure. And thank you so much to everyone of Ifara, Linga and Laura Fathenya. And of course, a huge thank you to our school, Dunboyne Senior Primary School and St. Kieran's National School for joining us today. Give yourselves a huge round of a club. Yeah. Fantastic. Check out scienceweek.ie for all the other things that are still happening throughout the rest of the week as well. And uh, you know what I have to say before we, we wrap up? Science is great. Science is great. Science is great. Science is just great. Science is and you, you can see... Science Week, Science is Great could be the new slogan for Science Absolutely. Week. Absolutely. Science is great. But if you all think science is great and want to see how great it is, check out curiousminds.ie for loads of resources and uh, loads of great things about science. Science is great. <laughs> and yes, if you sent in a shout out, don't worry, we're going to get to them, so hang on tight for the next 10 minutes. And there's a link at the top of the description there on the page, so hang tight, we'll get to you soon. Yeah, but from... from, from MC from Ronya and from Corey and from Phil from everybody here and everybody in the studio. Happy Science Week! See you next time. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to try yeah. with the tractor. Come on, let's go. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Press it. Yeah, yeah.